All in person operations at the Meru Law Court have been suspended for two weeks after some members of staff tested positive for COVID-19. Chief Justice David Maraga says the move is aimed at minimizing the spread of the virus at the facility and that all urgent matters shall now be handled virtually. Maraga says that a few advocates and their staff have also tested positive for the virus. Chief Justice David Maraga says beginning Monday, all litigants seeking urgent legal services at the Meru Law Courts will be required to do so virtually. Meru Law Courts became the latest judicial facility to be shut due to COVID-19 after a number of staff and advocates tested positive for the deadly COVID-19 disease. The judiciary has in the recent months turned to technology to keep the wheels of justice rolling in the face of the pandemic. Meanwhile, despite the COVID-19 pandemic hitting hard across the country, a number of Kenyans are still doubtful of its existence. It is for this reason that some residents in Kisi County are taking it upon themselves to conduct sensitization campaigns. Jane Matibai, a second-hand clothes who claims to have recovered from COVID-19, says people should not be afraid of seeking medical attention if they experience symptoms. Mimi ilinishika nikiwa hapa kwa soko kwa nene kwa soko na sikujua nilishika na wapi na tulikuwa na matanga nyumbani wengine wameshika wengine wa mmoja amekufa bado wako mochari bibi yake bado ni mgonjwa so what i can tell you corona it's really and it's killing inaua corona iko wala ambao mlikuwa mnasema mnataka kuona mtu ambaye amegonjeka Mimi niliugua na Mungu amenisaidia na nimeponya nimepona Matibai calling on the Ministry of Health to conduct a targeted testing exercise for residents in the region Meanwhile, a group of youth drawn from Nairobi County has decried the negative economic effects of the coronavirus pandemic on their revenue streams and uh, they came up with ideas on how to address mental health they came up with ideas how to go about addressing, for example, psychological uh, first aid for the people who are affected with the mental illness during the crisis. And they brought in a lot of ideas that I think we would like to plug in and also support the community to address mental health in general. That the corporates of Kenya need to do a lot more to be able to engage with the problem that we call our youth unemployment and youth employability. And so we are looking forward to working with many more corporate institutions because young people belong to us. And one of the things that I like about the African society is it's about communities. It's about, it takes more than one individual to be able to elevate any conversation. The calls coming even as thicker member of parliament Patrick Wanaina called for patient among farmers expressing confidence that markets will soon re-emerge stronger. The issue is that uh, the market has been very difficult during this COVID issue uh, and uh, I can only tell you that uh, be patient, you know macadamia has money, so be patient, take care of your macadamia. Uh, money is coming, macadamia will come back to what it has been. The legislator spoke amid cries by macadamia farmers that dwindling exports of the crop had negatively impacted their livelihoods. For Channel 1 News, I am Emily K. Bade.